Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. In this video, let's see how to create library management system in Python with MySQL database. This project is developed based on the requirements for class 12 students. Let's start with installing the module record for implementing this project. Install mysql-connector-python from the command prompt by using the command pip install mysql-connector-python. And then we need to create the database for implementing this library management system. We need two SQL tables. The first table is books table. Here I have book id as the primary key, book name, author of the book and one more column called as available and the default value of available is set to yes. Next table called as issue details. Here the book id is the foreign key. These values should be one of the values contained in the parent table books in this case. Then we have student id and student name. Fine. So before starting the project make sure that your exam server is running. So for database creation this is the code. First we have to import mysql.connector then we can set the connection by using connect method of mysql.connector by giving the parameters hostname, username, password and I have added these two things because I have changed the port number. If you are using the default port number you need not specify this one and I have set auto commit equal to true because by default auto commit is set to false in python after executing each and every sql statements you have to call the commit method if you are not using auto commit is equal to true and then we are using this cursor method is used to execute the sql queries okay and i have passed an argument buffered is equal to true because without this uh, buffered cursor the results are lazily loaded so to avoid that i have used this now we are creating the database using the SQL query. Database name is library underscore db. Execute method to execute all these queries. So I have created these two tables. When you are running the program for the first time, books and issue details. Tables will be created in this database library underscore db. So these are the column names which I have already specified. Okay. And this bid is the foreign key which reference to the bid of the books table. So this is the code. Next we need to see the operations that can be performed in a library management system. So in this Trinity library management system, all these operations are performed by the admin of the library. So the admin can add book, issue a book to a student. You can also maintain the list of returned books and display books. The admin can delete the book and option 6 is to exit out of this. So under display books, I have given three options. Either you can display all the books or you can display only the issued books alone or you can search for a particular book using the third option. Let's see the code for all these options now. So I have used methods for each and every option. So our code starts here. Initially the admin has to enter into this Trinity library management system. So I have set an username and password. Username is admin and password is library123. So only if you have entered it correctly, this menu will be displayed. Then user has to enter the choice any number from 1 to 6. Based on the choice of the user, the corresponding function will be called. So this else part is for if the username and password is wrong, you have to try again. Okay. So now let's see the code for adding a book. Add underscore book method. So in this method, I am just getting the book id, book title and author name from the user and it is stored in a tuple. Then using this SQL query, insert into books all these three data. Okay, so remember this uh, books table, we have book id, book name, author name and available which is by default set to yes. So we need not set the value separately. So I am just inserting three values into the books table. Values for book id, book name and author alone. Then I have a print statement, fine. Or if you have chosen delete book option, then we have to just delete from the books where book id. Book id must be entered by the user. Book id is equal to percentage yes and it is replaced with the book id which you have entered. Okay, after deletion, I have just called display books method to display all the books. Okay, 
The next option is issue book. Fill the details for issue details table. We should enter the student name, student ID and what book is recorded by the user. So these three things must be given as input. Now I am just using a query. Select BID, book ID from books where book name is the specified book and available should be yes. I have used fetch one method which will return a tuple of book ID. So of this book ID I have selected book ID of 0, stored it in book ID. So I have just printed it. Here I am going to insert these details into issue details that is the book ID, student ID and student name. After inserting into issue details we also have to update the books that is we have to set the available column value as no where book id is equal to this particular book id so i have updated that and finally i have given a print statement okay this is the logic for issuing books so you can see this the, i have already executed this program in the library db i have added four books so one book is not available it means it is issued to a student book id student id and student name is displayed here the next method is returning the book. After the student returns the book, we have to update the books table that is set the available column value as yes where the book id is the corresponding book id and also I am deleting the particular book id issue details. Okay. The issue details table contains only the rows where the books has not been returned. If the book has been returned, those details will not be present in this issue details table. Then for display books, the choice 4. I am giving 3 options to the users. All books, issued books and particular book. If it is all books, I am calling display books. For issued books, I am calling display issued books. And for selecting one particular book, I have used select book. For displaying all the books, we are just selecting everything from the books table. And using fetch all method. I am retrieving all the rows and I can print that using the for loop with the heading book id book title author name and available okay if you want to select a particular book alone just give the book name and select star from books where book name is the book name entered by the user then we can use fetch all method and display that particular book so I have used for loop here because in this case two copies of core python books are available and it differs by the book id so i have used this for loop to display all the books even though the book name is same book id will be different then if you want to display only the issued books i am going to display book id book name register number and student name whereas in our issue details we don't have the book name we just have the book id student name and student id so i have used this query i am selecting everything from issue details and book name from the books table I'm giving this condition where issue details dot book id is equal to books dot bid okay so based on this i'm fetching everything and i have listed the issued books books dot b name will be retrieved as i of three since i have given book id book name register number and student name i have placed it here okay that's it let's execute it now the username is admin and the password is library123. So we have the six options. The first option add book. Make sure your exam server is running before you are executing this project. So the book ID let me give 401. Book name C sharp in depth author name John. Okay data entered successfully for book ID. Let's display all the books. All the books book id book title author name and availability okay and now i want to issue a book choice 2 you have to enter the name student name register number 2 and the book name okay 201 book has been issued to this student join now we can check the list of issued books by pressing choice 4 and again choice 2 list of issued books contains two rows so two books has been issued to the students core python and effective java now let's return one book 
let me return the book core python so enter your name book id must be specified here so 101 so book id is returned by the student now if you check the display books again list of issued books only one row will be available so after returned check here in the database five books are available effective java book alone is not available so it contains only one row right now okay so that book is issued to this student okay now i have given choice three return this book also so i'm giving join book id is 201 so that is also returned now we can also delete the book by pressing the choice five we have five books here i just want to delete one book let me delete this 301 so book id 301 so after deleting 301 all the remaining books has been displayed here okay to come out of this just press this so that's it about library management system using python with mysql database thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe